People are not exactly flocking to this vaccination center in Sofia's Druzhba district. Today only a trickle of locals are coming in to get the jab. The more people come, the happier we are. Overall, public opinion about the vaccinations has been very skeptical, but over time that's changing. Dr. Strandjev is doing his best, vaccinating at speed, handling up to 15 patients per hour. But he works alone, and getting the jab into all arms in this district is going to take time. In spring, Bulgaria didn't have enough vaccine, but now people are spoiled for choice. Johnson & Johnson, Johnson, and Johnson, which is one dose you get the certificate right away. AstraZeneca and mRNA, which is Moderna and Pfizer. This here is your QR code. Now I can go to Greece to the seaside. But this happy patient is in a minority at the nearby market. Locals are of a different mind. Vaccine skepticism abounds. We don't want to get vaccinated. I'm not afraid, but I'm not doing it. I'm very skeptical about these vaccines. They've been developed too fast. They come from abroad, so I'm not sure they're good. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus and I'm not going to get vaccinated. Government officials already fear a next wave of infections. And Dr. Angel Kunchev from Bulgaria's Ministry of Health is at a loss to explain the low uptake. People make such choices based on emotions or not based on rational thinking. And nowhere in Europe is so much room given to anti-vaccine opinions, also from doctors, unfortunately. It's not rational. I, I can really cannot uh, explain for myself why did it happen in, in Bulgaria. It's a crazy situation. But media expert Radica Kovacheva thinks she knows the reason. There was a direct link between believing in disinformation and conspiracy theories about COVID and low levels of trust in national government. And she also believes that the last government is at fault, avoiding a political decision, not giving clear messages to citizens. We had two medical councils saying two contradicting things about COVID and about measures. And then, of course, there's the Internet, a lot of disinformation coming from Russia. We have a meme saying that after two world wars, now we have a third world war, which is fought not with the guns, but with vaccines. Bulgaria's government is now planning a big PR campaign in order to promote vaccinations. But given public opinion, it seems an uphill battle.